My name is Sandy Gray and I have the best job in the school. I'm the school librarian and we have 1100 boys from grade 7 through to grade 12 and we are busy in here all day long from 7.45 in the morning until 4.45 in the afternoon. This beautiful space is packed with boys, uh, many of whom are doing research for their projects. Some of them are coming in because we have recreational reading programs at the school to encourage their literacy. So they're coming in and they want recommendations for books to read, what's good, what's the next book in the series, will I like this, I hate fantasy, can you help me? And then we also are working all throughout the day with classes of kids who are sent down by their teachers to do research assignments. So we're helping them specifically find information that meet curriculum requirements. So there's lots of variety in the day. Um, I was all set to uh, become an academic. I thought it would just be wonderful to do a PhD in English, but at the time when I was graduating from university, jobs were few and far between, and my delightful husband and my father kind of ganged up on me and said, you know, you're going to be pumping gas with a PhD. Is that really how you want to spend your life? And there was a lot of truth to that at the time. So I rethought it a little bit, and um, friends of the family reminded me that when I was a kid, I used to loan my books out to people, and I used used to make little pockets out of cutting envelopes in two and put little cards in them to sign their names on it. So we decided that maybe I would be better in a graduate program for um, library and information studies. So I switched out of the English and switched into library science and haven't looked back. Many people who work in independent school libraries are also library technicians. So those are people who complete high school, they know they're interested in working in this field, but they're not prepared to go to school for six years to do it. So they take programs at community colleges or at some of the universities that offer a library technician's diploma, which is very similar training to the graduate program, and it really prepares you for hands-on work, which is what you do in a school. Um, you don't have a lot of opportunity to sit back and go to meetings. It is hands-on in the trenches all day, every day. So the library technician training is equally as valuable for this kind of work as the librarian, the MLS training. Um, yeah, the whole administration of the library is the behind the scenes thing that nobody gets. I think everybody thinks that librarianship is a total no-brainer, right? If anybody says to you, what does a librarian do? Well, man, you just sit at the desk and stamp books in and out. How hard can that be? Um, how do the books get there? So the behind the scene things that people don't see is the time that you spend matching up the curriculum or what's being studied at the school with the resources in the library because the days of if you build it they will come for libraries are long gone. They won't come. They won't come unless their teachers create assignments or create learning opportunities for them to come and use the resources that are in the library. So my job is always to make sure that there are resources that do that and keep the library current. It's not an archive. It's not a repository anymore. A lot of the research now is a blend of books and online resources and I think that's a really great thing because our kids in their real lives outside of school spend a lot of time with technology and they're quite familiar with technology but I think the value add that I get to bring in my job is helping them to understand the difference between the kinds of information that you sometimes find in websites and the kind of more valuable academic information that you can find in databases. Well, I guess um, to be on in a job like this that you do five days a week, and you do have to do a certain amount of prep work at home and on weekends and you know preparing for special events, um, you have to really love working with the with your clientele. So in my case, it's students and it's boys and it's teenage boys wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea and it has been fantastic. They are a great group of kids and they're very appreciative because they know that I want to be here and they know that I can help them and that I will help them and I think they really appreciate that. Um, they appreciate that um, you have a sense of humor because you do need that in a very busy stressful environment. When these kids have papers due they are stressed to the max and you have to be tolerant and you have to pick your battles and so it's just like having children in your own home. You just have to know when to let them get away with things and when you have to really clamp down and say, you know what, that's not acceptable. We have to quieten down. Um, and there may be some teachers that don't have the latitude to do that with them because the class time is very short and there's definite sound bites that they have to get through in that time. 
the library offers a little more open environment for teaching and for learning and it goes both ways so I learn a ton from them and hopefully they learn some things from me that will help them when they go to university. You have to have a pretty high energy level. Um, I find in this school boys are they're boisterous they have high energy levels and you have if you're the typical librarian with the bun and you're always telling them to shh and be quiet, they're not going to use your library. So the upside of that will be you'll have a very quiet work environment and you'll be bored out of your mind because the boys will not come if they don't feel it's a place where you care about them and you're interested and willing to help them and you can tolerate a certain amount of noise. So my personal philosophy is there are two kinds of noise. There's productive noise when people are actually talking and it can be about assignments they're doing or rehashing last night's hockey game where their favorite team lost or won but as long as they're doing it at a level that doesn't drive everybody bananas I don't have a problem with that. If you want to move into the library field whether it's in a school or a public library or whether it's in the corporate field where I worked for 20 years before I came here you have to have a certain skill set and you have to see research and information as a process so that you know when, you, there's, when students come to ask you or teachers come to ask you, you're working through the same kind of process to try and help them find information. So you need to be organized. Um, some would say to the point of being anal, you have to know where things are. You have to be able to be organized and put things in their place and help people find them and help them understand as they go why information is organized certain ways. So you have to be comfortable that that's the way information is organized and you have to always be teaching it to people. I love that it's a very open and a very um, learning oriented environment.